Open your project in Unreal Engine. Let's create a new folder where we can create our flag. Next, go to Modeling Mode, Create, and select Rectangle. Place the rectangle in your scene, and then select the size of your flag. I am using 1 meter by 2 meters. Click Accept. You can move and rotate the object in your scene by pressing W to toggle the Move functionality and E to rotate. Next, go to Mesh and then Remesh. Depending on the size of your flag, you might need to adjust the numbers here. Sometimes lower polygons can actually be better than a higher poly count when it comes to simulations. So if yours is not working correctly, try adjusting this value. I used a value of 600 for this tutorial, but you may find a better poly count. Next, you can move the generated rectangle into your project folder that you are working on to keep organized. Do this by selecting the mesh in your scene and pressing Ctrl plus B. This will navigate you automatically to the folder to where the generated mesh is stored. Just drag this into the folder we just created and click Move here. You can rename the mesh by pressing F2. Get a PNG of the image you want to use on your flag and import it into Unreal Engine. I'm making a new materials folder to try and keep organized and dragging this new PNG into this folder. Next, we are going to create the material to apply to our flag. Right click and select create material. Open the material and drag in the PNG file to our material and link this to the base color. Click Apply and Save. Now let's go back to our static mesh and apply the material. Then click Save. You can adjust the UVs to get this positioned correctly back in modeling mode. You can try Auto UV and then Transform UV to get the material in the correct position. You can move the material just like any other mesh this way. Once you are happy with the results, click Accept. You will notice that we can only view our flag from one side. To fix this, open the flag material and tick the two-sided material checkbox. Don't forget to save. Next, right-click and generate a skeletal mesh that will be used in the cloth simulation. Open the skeletal mesh. Select the root bone and adjust the flag to sit in the correct position. Right click on the flag and select create clothing data from selection. Right click again and apply the clothing data to the skeletal mesh. Click Activate Cloth Paint menu, selecting your clothing data that you just created. 
Paint the mesh where you would like the cloth simulation to take effect. I am going to attach this to a flagpole on the left, so I leave this area clear and point the rest. You can test the cloth simulation using the eye menu and going to clothing data and adjusting the wind speed. Add the skeletal mesh into the scene. You will then need to add the wind force into the scene to simulate wind. I use settings 10 and 10 as you can see here, but you can play around with these settings to get the results you are looking for. And there you have it, a quick and easy flag in Unreal Engine. Thanks for watching.